In this video, which is part 12 of the Chart.js Gantt series, we're going to focus on putting or highlighting the weekends. As you can see here, we highlight these weekends here nicely in gray color. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look at part 12 to create these gray areas here behind to highlight the weekends or any other dates, depending on your country. So we're going to scroll down here and create a new plugin. So first of all, I need to add up the plugin. So I'm going to say here into the plugins, comma, uh, not plugins, but we can just say the weekend or something like that. So I'm going to say copy this and then I'm going to put it in here slash weekend plugin block constant weekend equals, of course, the same item here, comma, and then we can say here. All right, this is very important. We want to draw it before we draw the data sets. So what we're going to use here, you always use here the after, but now we can copy this line and change this to before because it must be always underneath the data set bar. So I'm going to say before. All right, so once we did that, create a race here. And then in here, I will just grab a lot of the same data that we have above. So I can copy this, put it in here, the chart area left, right. I think in this case, what I need as well is the width or the width won't be that important, but the height will be. So we need the height and everything else here. I think that's fine. Probably don't even need this data here. So once we did this, what I want to do here is to say ctx.save to save all variables above. And then I'm going to say here, let's start to draw. And I'm going to say here, uh, let's select the color that we want. CTX.fill style. And then we're going to say the fill style color could be RGBA and 102, comma, 102, 102, comma, 0 0.2, which is the official gray color of the Chart.js grid lines. So we have this now, but of course we're not done here. So the next thing that we need to do is we're going to create a rectangle. So we say here dot fill rec. And in this fill rec, we're going to put in four coordinates, basically the X position, the Y position, the width and the height. So this will be important. The height we already have here. That's this one. So we can grab that, put it in here. Next thing what I need is I need the X position and the X position will be based on if something is a weekend. So what we need to do here is look through this and check if it's a weekend, yes or no. And if it is, that specific day should be colored gray. And here for the height, basically that will be easy, top and bottom. All right, so we have the top for the height, then we have the width that we need to calculate. So let's do here something simple. 100 and here also 100. If I save this, refresh, you can see here it is now 100 pixels and apparently that's this here, which is correct because we give the namespace or the name a 100 pixel padding here. So that's quite accurate. All right, what we want to do now is start making sure that this is intelligent enough understanding the dates, but the dates, they come from the ticks itself here. So let's grab those first. So to do that, I'm going to show you console log. We're going to say here the X, because we have the X already specified here. And if I save that, refresh, open up developer tab, you will see here a lot of items. Just click on one and you can see here the ticks and look what we get here for the ticks. We get all of these here and this is quite interesting because we have all of those here that will allow us to highlight the area. And just a heads up with this, because of this here, the ticks is now only 15. What we maybe need to do here is to skip or auto skip set on false to make sure we always have 30 or something like that, or else the drawing will not be very accurate. So we need to have 30 items like this. And then if I click on that, we should see here 30 or 31 ticks, depending on the country, uh, of a sorry, country on the month. Uh, where are you? Ticks, ticks, ticks. Somewhere up, of course, here. There you are. All right. So I'm going to grab this, say here, ticks. And then what I will do is, because this is a nice array, we can use this as a for loop. Or not even a for loop, a, uh, I guess a for each loop is the right term. Because we're going to loop through each of these time stamps here, the value. So then I will say here, tick, 
and index. Although I don't think we will need the index, but just in case. And then we put a function error expression. And then we put in here the following. And let's see here. Uh, rec fill. And then we're going to say here the uh, ticks. And then what we want to do here is we can say here console log. And what I want to do here then, let's grab here the tick, but more specifically the tick. Uh, we have the ticks, but now we get the each for individual, but then I want the value. I want to extract the value of it. If I save this, refresh, we get all the timestamps here. Alright, now we're getting close to it. So now, what I need to do here basically, this needs to be converted into a simple date object. So that we can validate if this is a weekend, or a Saturday or Sunday, or any other day that you prefer. So what I'm going to say here is, uh, let's say constant day. And what I will do here, I will say here the new date, because we're going to create a date object, will be based on the tick value that we have here. And then we're going to say here, dot get day, and there we are. Once we do this, we will get a number here. And that number should be somewhere from 0 to 6. So if I save that, refresh, 0 to 6, and there we are. Alright, so this is all correct. You can see here we get a huge amount of numbers. But what it's really uh, validating here is what is the specific date. And you can see here 0 means Sunday and 6 equals Saturday. So you can easily select any other day if you want them to be highlighted as well. So now we know, of course, the numbers of the days. Now we can easily filter out by using if statement. So we say if, and let's grab here the day. If day would be equal strict to 6, or if day will be equal strict to 0, which is Sunday. So if the day would be equal to Saturday or Sunday, if that is true, in that case what I want to do is I want to grab this, put that in here. And then, once we have that, we can say here the following. Well, if I do this, save, probably it will now loop on top of each other all the time. But what we need to convert here this into a date, or once we have the date, convert it into a pixel value. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say x dot get pixel for value, which is a built-in functionality in Charge.js that we have used previously as well. So you should be aware. Uh, familiar with this and then what I want to do here is let's get the tick value if I save this now refresh you can see it starts to work but of course um, the ending date is still not complete so for that you might say alright then basically what we have to do here is to do the same except what we have to do here is we have to get the hours of it at the very end and this one here most likely is at the very beginning this is the first day here so what we want to do is we want to connect them in with how many pixels because we have to calculate basically the segment from this point to here how much is that and luckily there's an easy way to do that what we're going to say here is we want to get this date value that we have the day but then very simple we say set hours on 24 meaning I want to get whatever the day is, but I want to get it almost at the very end of, or almost, uh, or how you can describe that properly, 24 hours from that point. So basically this till the very next day at the very first hour, which is 24 or 12 midnight next day. So this is very nicely done. So once we have this, you, you might say, okay, we're done, but of course not. Hold on, I probably forget some uh, items here. Uh, let me double check here. So what is the issue here? Alright, I understand the issue. Basically this here is not allowed to be outside because that's this is the function of get pixel. So I need to say a dot that or the set hours within this. Basically this is just a day, the day value here. So once I have that, uh, let me double check if this is all correct or so maybe we need to convert this into a date value so let me just save this and refresh all right I see what the issue is here so what I need to say here new date object go to date because this is the timestamp basically this one is a reference to the timestamp 
what I want to do now is I want to grab this time step, convert it into an object, and then say plus whatever the hours are. So now if I save this, all right, so we're getting there, but not exactly. You might say what's going on here. Well, remember, we're getting here the width. This is the width of the item. So what I need to do is this 24, and then we deduct whatever we started with or we started with the starting point. The reason for this is because this will get the pixels from left to right in width of how many length in pixels. So what I want to do then is uh, we have this calculation. Let me double check. That's here. And let me just, what I will do is I'll just organize that slightly so you can see it clearly. So that's the height. All right. So we have here this hours. Then we're going to say here minus the current day. And that is just, or not the current day, but the day that we took the beginning. So if I do this, save, refresh, uh, deduct, hold on, let me double check. Are we getting, oh, my bad, again. Let's cut this out, don't do that. It's in here, but then we say here, deduct the pixels of that day. So we have here the starting date, or sorry, the ending date. Calculate it in pixels, and then we say here minus, calculate again in pixels, the starting date. If we do that, we will get only this segment from this to this, for example. There you are. Now you can see this is all nicely done, and it's correct because today is the 30th, which is a Sunday. All right, so now everything works very, very nicely, and if I move this on to November, you will see the dates change as well nicely. Absolutely phenomenal. And that's basically how we can play around with adding up weekends uh, and highlighting them and maybe what's even fun let's change this here in a bit more professional way so i'm going to show you another trick that we can use so we have this weekend here i'm going to grab this one and this is very uh, useful with the plugin options so i'm going to scroll down here i'm going to create within here the plugins we have always the legend but now we are allowed to do this by adding up the weekend put a comma here and the reason why I'm allowed to add a weekend object now is because we specified here the ID the ID is weekend so whatever the ID is that's the term we're going to use in here and then I will say here uh, weekend color for example and that color would be anything we want and in this case I will just grab this weekend color put it in there all right, so then we have that one. So now what I need to do is I need to extract this value and recognize that in here as whatever the color would be or reference it to there. So what I'm going to say here is just quite simple. We have the plugin options. This plugin options command is connected with the ID. So basically what we're saying here is plugin options. That will be just saying uh, like go to options, look for weekend or whatever the ID is. And the ID in this case is the weekend. And then what I want to do is I want to get here the weekend color. That's basically what we're going to do. But the options is now, now uh, has the name of plugin options. So we're going to grab this item because it's, because this is the reference here. All right. So then I'm going down here. Or where is that? Sorry. This one here. So if I save this now. All right. Does it work? Apparently it does not. Then double check here. Uh, 249 I guess I put a semicolon in here because I copied the entire code that's of course not allowed it's an object so no semicolons here save that refresh uh, all right 207 and my bad I'm putting this here because I was like showing the example but that's not not needed anymore it knows automatically it grabs this one automatically so it knows this and if I do this here there you are so let's confirm by grabbing a color at the very top here. Let's get a, uh, do we have a color here? No, oh, apparently not. Sorry. I'm just going to go down to the options. Is that the weekend color? There we are. And let's make this, uh, I guess, red or something. Save, refresh. As you can see here, now it starts to work nicely. Although this is far too strong and bright of a color. There you are. And that's basically how we can use this and create almost anything. You could almost imagine we could do even a weekend or a special holiday, ha Halloween or something like that, highlighting that in a different color, like a special holiday.